Oh man. Secret! He is much bigger than the last time I saw him. He must have eaten a big candy. I'm glad that I have so many lives and so much life, you know? I'm guessing that these would hurt me if they hit me. Whoa! Don't fall, Bonk! Don't fall! It was a secret! Oh, now we're back in the prehistory? It looks like the opening credits thing. Um, well, that killed me immediately. Oh man, those guys are brutal. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to hit... I think I'm supposed to hit those and knock them into the the arms or something. So far I'm just losing lots of life. I'm not sure that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Wow, the pinchers! So am I just supposed to like live through this? Um, Whoa! I'm really big and everything got smaller! This is awesome! Oh, I, I'm trying to get him, but I, I missed him. I'm guessing that I have to, like, jump on his head? How am I supposed to do that? Maybe... Maybe I stand over here and get him on his way back out? Okay! He's doing different stuff! I totally didn't understand that he was going to do this set, something different. Is it because I stood over here that he did that? Like, the, the, um, under him? So he acts differently if I stand under him? Oh, he's doing different stuff every time. I can't find a pattern. Okay, what's going on over here? I got him once! Hooray! I hit him one time. Now I just have to do that a hundred more times probably and I'll be great. So I don't know if he has a pattern. Right now this is working. He's probably going to do something different now. Or not. If he keeps doing this then, I'm go then I'll be fine. Oh, see now he turns the other way. You never know what he's going to do. Does that mean he started over his pattern, maybe? Maybe I should stand over here now? No, he's dropping bombs on me! Is he gonna just keep doing this as long as I stand here? Oh no! Wake up, bunk! I get the feeling that this is just going to keep happening as long as I stand there. Oh, really? Come on, King Dinosaur. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> I really am close to sneezing. Yay, I hit him again! My sneeze went away when he surprised me. Alright. I think that's hurting him. I mean, the sound effect kind of sounds like it's not, but he's flashing. So it has to hurt him, right? Oh, what a waste. Come on, do the same thing again. Yes! Keep doing that, please. Yes! Will he do it again? Come on, pinchers and... I got him! He's finally dead! No, no, he's got another form! Oh, see, I can't predict what he's going to do. He keeps doing different stuff on purpose to mess me up. 
Come on, unpredictable. Oh, he did a normal one, and that was unpredictable. I wonder if this is randomized or if it's a pattern. Like, if I if I memorize the pattern, would I be able to do this? Well, another bonk down. Wake up! Yes! Oh. I think the secret is you have to stand closer here and just anticipate when he's going to come. Even that doesn't work. I think he, he changes what he does based on where you're standing, too. So he doesn't come out very far because I'm close to the edge. Do I have to hit the back of him? Why isn't this hit hurting him? I don't get it. I think just the top is not enough. You have to actually get him in the back. Oh, come on. Come on, boss battles. Nothing greater than a boss battle. This is some must-see TV. Me dying over and over trying to fight this boss. Oh, come on. I've hit him a couple of times. Yes! What's going on back there? Oh, I think... Oh, you know what? Just a second, my dog is stuck outside. I didn't realize it. Now back to the battle. Stop sniffing my controller, dog. Okay. Where were we? Battle. Come on. Let me hit you in the back. It's not fair. I got him. Woohoo! I gotta get him. It's like the second half of him you have to hit. The first half is not susceptible to damage. Not another one. Bonk, there's only four more. You can do this. Don't let him fool you like that. Okay, what's he gonna do this time? Jump in the air! That's, that one's a bad one because it hurts me a lot of time when, when he does that. See? Hurt me again. And then there's the weight. I don't like the weight. And then there's the normal. I like the normal one, but I failed. See, I think it's randomized. Because I never know what he's doing. Unless it's a really long pattern that I just can't figure out. Come on. Oh man, that pause is, is horrible. Yes! I knew he was going to jump there, I don't know why. And then I knew he was going to pause there. This one shouldn't be a pause, just go straight. Oh, and I missed it anyway. Okay, so, oh that's a pause, of course. There's a pause, and then he just goes straight. And then a jump. And then a, a normal one, and I got him, yes! And a jump. And a pause. And a juke. And a pause. And a jump. And now a normal one. Yes! Totally demolished him. Oh, he's not quite dead yet? There he is. He's still sort of alive. Uh-oh, time to get bigger? 
Why would the enemy give me something to make me so big that I could kill him? I, I'm not even walking. This is like a cutscene. Look how happy Bonk is. He's like, yeah, look at me. I'm in my big, huge dress, running through, destroying everything. Uh, jump and crash. Oh, jump and crash? So I can jump. Oh, I smashed his, th his stuff. So I couldn't walk. I couldn't change my direction or stop walking, but I could jump. Oh, he's so sad. His little wings are carrying him, though. Oh no! It's the opposite of the first cutscene! He's stuck! Yeah! Go bonk. Oh no, now he's stuck in the future. Or the past? Or I don't know how we got to the past, but... Hey, Mr. Bonk! That's some awesome 3D running toward the screen. Well, this was definitely the craziest game that I've ever played. I mean, it made no sense. At all. Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto. All of your planning people, planning craziness, original work, these are probably people that are creative. Game design, another probably creative guy. Character design, he was probably the one that was like, let's make it so the characters can eat people and then you run around inside them. And uh, and then we, we made some masks for the birds, that's always fun. Mamoru, I like that name. Programmers, they were probably like, wow, this game is crazy. Sound producers, they're, they're the ones to blame for the no annoying jumping sound effect. Um, sound director, probably him too. Composers, they're the ones to blame. By blame, I mean give credit for for the awesome music. I really want to get the uh, soundtrack for Super Bonk now. Maybe there's some remixes of it too. These advisors, these are people that told them, you guys need to make the game crazier and crazier. You guys need to make a straw that a dinosaur is drinking out of, and you guys need to make a dinosaur that sneezes bonk into space. Manual. Oh, instruction manual. See, I, I was, I'm, a, I'm a technical writer, so I like the manual part. Special thanks, Eddie Chu. You know who you are. Special thanks, Amble. Amble, they use that name to give us this screen here. English translation. Thank you for translating. And thank you, Angela. Come on, Bonk. I know you're so excited. I don't know where you're running because, you know, the camera's kind of not showing us, but awesome. And uh, he's played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, apparently. See you again. Your bonk's results. Wow. Look at all those points. What am I supposed to do with that? Why did it give me all those points? Well, thanks for watching. I guess I'll have to pick another game. Join me next time. Bye.